Good afternoon, St. Luke family. It's Lamika, and I am coming to you this afternoon with our Overcomers tip. I hope all is well with you and that you find yourself blessed. Thank you again, Pastor, for an awesome word we had on this morning. So I just want to start off as usual, just reviewing and reminding ourselves what is a stronghold? What is it that we um, address through this ministry? So as we define a stronghold in our overcomers ministry, we define a stronghold as a fortified place or a fortress. It is symbolic of a place of resistance. A stronghold is an area under the domination of a power that defies any challenge to its rule. And so we look at a stronghold as something that defies um, any challenge to its rule, especially by um, the, the rule of God. It is it's just battling against the domination of God in our lives. We further explain that a, uh, we further define a stronghold as habitations in the spirit realm built in the mind and can be described as mindsets, attitudes, thinking patterns, and some elements of worldview formed through the consistent, willful sin, iniquity, iniquity, or alternately acts of obedience to God. Um, so we can, we want to get to those strongholds that are in line or that are aligned with um, acts of obedience to God, but we've got to get there. And so we're battling those things, those thought patterns, not just a thought, but a pattern of thinking, a worldview, an attitude, habitations that defy the rule of God in our lives. So this week, our um, step that we are going to, to look at is where we start having to do the work for ourselves. Up until this point, besides acknowledging that we have the stronghold, we've been relying on God. We've been relying on his word, which we have to do. But there are some things that we have to do in and of ourselves. Um, the, the word says faith without works is dead. So we can rely on God. But if we're not doing the work, then all that faith is worth nothing. It amounts to nothing. So here's a step where we take it personal, where we have to examine ourselves. And this is a very powerful step because we can acknowledge some things. We can admit that we're helpless. We can um, believe that uh, through Christ, um, all things are possible. We can be willing to turn our thinking over to God. But when you get down to the root of where those strongholds exist, when you get down to the root of what the devil has what the devil has used in your life to turn into a stronghold then you have to examine what role do i play okay so this is going to be a very powerful lesson that god showed me some things that um that he just blessed my spirit with and i just want to share those things with you so the scripture for examine yourself two scriptures lamentations 3 and 39 uh excuse me lamentations 3 39 and 40 and Matthew 7 and 5. Lamentations reads, um, as we have it written, I think this is probably King James Version. It says, wherefore doth a living man complain, a man for his sins? Let us search and try our ways and turn again to the Lord. And then um, our next scripture Matthew 7 and 5 says, Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beams out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. So the Lamentation Scripture talks about um, complaining for the sins that we are the ones who are, we are creating this sinful way. Um, let us search and try our own ways. Once we search and try our own ways, it'll want to lead us back to God. Um, and then Matthew, again, is talking about how we cast blame and fall on others, but we need to search ourselves. So here's the things that, that God blessed my spirit with. Um, these are some things that we can do to help us get free. First, by examining ourselves, and next month, our scripture is forgive others. And this is so deep because when people have serious strongholds, I don't want to um, put a level on strongholds, but when people have deep-rooted strongholds that sometimes they don't even remember or know why those strongholds set up, we've got to learn to, once we examine ourselves, forgive others. So I'm going to try to stay within my time, but this was so good how God gave it to me. Um, um, 
the things that God said to me was, we tend to want to forward fault and pass blame for our strongholds and our weaknesses onto others. Um, in our weaknesses, he is made strong. So he needed us weak and vulnerable during parts of our lives. Because if you ever dealt with something that has been tragic or something that has created a trauma in your life, it's through that weakness that you have, you feel that you have no help. And so it's through those weak moments and those vulnerable moments that God is able to allow you to see him. God is able to reveal himself to you. Sometimes people catch on and sometimes sometimes people develop these strongholds as a way of coping and, and getting through those times. The next thing that God showed me was um, the fault and blame, just excuse it, our excuses. Um, they're nothing but building blocks for that fortress that defies dominion to God's rule in our lives. So we, we, we define the stronghold as being this fortress, right? So as we cast blame and we push fault onto other people for the things that have happened in our life. Not that they don't deserve it, but once we uh, set our attitude and our habitations and our mindset into faulting others for the things that they've done and being stuck there, we're just stacking building blocks in that fortress in our mind because our thinking is focused on what they did. And so when we're focused on what they did or what happened to us, then that begins to set up this fortress that is defying God to, to reveal himself, that is defying God to have that dominion and rule in our lives. The next thing he told me was th th those excuses are the things we set in our minds to justify our actions. They, they are to bind us. It's like we're now yoked with sin. So when those things happen and we set a mindset that this has happened to me and I'm doing this because I'm doing this stronghold, or I'm living within this stronghold because this happened to me. It's a, like I said, it's a coping and it's a way that we um, that we kind of are able to exist and comfort ourselves. Right. We People find comfort in that stronghold because it is a fortress. It is a layer of protection, right? But all those things are just being, we're, we're just binding ourselves. We're being yoked with that, with that sin or with that stronghold. We're just locking ourselves in, again, like in that fortified place. The next thing he told me is things are supposed to, things are destined to happen to us. We're supposed to respond by turning to him. So God, I, I don't want to say he predestined our lives. He knew he knows the things that are going to happen to us. Right. And this is going along with what pastor said today. So so we know that God is in the midst of what he, the message he's trying to get out today. There are some things that are supposed to that are going to happen in our lives. So it's up to us how we deal with those things. Do we lock ourselves into a stronghold, into that fortress that is in defiance to God's rule? Or do we turn to him? Are we going to examine, hey, this has played a role in my life. This was tragic. This was traumatic. It was horrible what happened to me. But am I going to lay dormant and lay hidden in this fortress or am I going to find refuge in the master? Am I going to find re refuge in my father? So he's wanting us to turn to him. But see what the enemy does, he, he plays upon our mind. He plays upon us blaming. He plays upon us. You didn't do this to yourself. Somebody did this to you. They were wrong. Doesn't make it untrue, but we can't rest there. He uses those things to keep us weak and not allow us to see the strength that God is trying to perfect in us, right? So he uses those things to soothe the pain. He uses that fortress, our mindset, the way we think to soothe that pain. So the, the next thing that God put in my spirit that is that if I allow the things then you need to allow me. And by that, he showed me that if I allow these things to happen in your life, 
because I'm trying to draw you near to me and bring you closer to me. You need to allow me to be God. You need to allow me to do all the things that I promised you. Allow my strength to abound. So, you know, you're bound and yoked with these um, these things that have happened. Allow me to give you peace. Allow me to, to restore your joy. Allow me to give you strength. Let my strength abound in you. You can't, we said in, in step three, you can't do it on your own, but through him, all things are possible. So he's asking us to allow him to be that strength. Let his strength, allow him to let his strength be made perfect in us. Then the next thing he showed me was, we've got to start looking at weaknesses differently. We've got to embrace them through prayer, through supplication, making our requests known to God, requesting his perfect strength. So in those times when we are weak, we need to request his perfect strength because he's promised us that he is that. He wants to be our strength and we need to allow him to be that. We don't want to look at ourselves. We don't want to look at our weaknesses. We find shame in those weaknesses, not not really not re- not realizing that there's more shame lying within the stronghold. So we find shame in the weakness and don't rely on him for our strength. We're trying to find strength within ourselves and we can't. And so then we set up these strongholds to comfort what the the weakness. So Um, he told me that we can rely on the stronghold or we can rely on his strength. We have that choice. It's all about what dominion we want to rule in our lives. So at this point, I encourage you all, let's look at ourselves. Let's acknowledge our weaknesses and how they became formed in our lives. And let's make a request unto God. We request his perfect strength. We request his perfect strength to do the work that he has promised us he would do in our lives. And after we've tried it our way, blaming others, making excuses, finding fault in everything, once we had examined ourselves, we allow God his chance and his opportunity to give us his perfect strength. So I hope this word blesses you like it blessed me. Bless you all, St. Luke, and I hope y'all have a wonderful day.